Are you trying to start a brand new KDP account? Maybe you heard about KDP on YouTube, Facebook, or some other platform and you notice that other people are making money online. KDP can be a great source of passive income. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to quickly get started with KDP. Yes, it is free for everyone. You do have to be 18 years old in order to have a KDP account and you're only allowed to have one account per person. So definitely make sure you don't make more than one account because then your account may get banned. But this is completely free. So this is the KDP homepage. All you have to do is just Google KDP Amazon, something like that, and it should come up. KDP stands for Kindle Direct Publishing, and it has been bought by Amazon. So you probably already know who Amazon is, but Amazon is one of the largest companies probably in the entire world. And they have this platform here, which I think is amazing that they allow people to create books for free. So there's a little bit of information on this page here. It says get to market fast. Um, your book could be within the stores worldwide within 72 hours. Earn up to 70% royalties. Keep control of your book. You can publish in hardback, paperback, and ebook etc. And again, it is free to start. So if you're looking to make some extra money or trying to find some sort of passive income or you're just passionate about creating books, then I highly recommend starting KDP. So on this homepage, if you don't have an account, just hit the sign up button and then it will pop up a page just like this where you can create an account. And if you don't have an Amazon account already, this is what I suggest doing. But if you already have an Amazon account, then you can just use that same login and it should work because they're linked together. So that is totally up to you, but just remember only one account per profile. And then once you log in, you should have a dashboard that looks just like this. So we're going to get into some of this more detail later on, but I really just want to go over how to create your own book and actually get started because the whole setup process, Amazon walks you through, they asked for like your social and your address and everything. Um, so I cannot create a second account, so I can't actually walk through all of that. But if you follow the steps in the beginning, then it should be pretty simple from there. So if you're trying to figure out how to actually create a book, like you have no idea how to get started and you just want to create something to kind of get experience, then this video would definitely be helpful. So let's just start with something simple. Let's start with a composition notebook. So normally you would want to be doing niche research and what that means is going on Amazon or downloading and paying for a paid product like Publisher Rocket or Helium 10 and looking for niches to develop books in. And a niche is pretty much like, it's not exactly a genre, but it's what the book is about. So niches could be from composition notebooks to log books to diary books to planners and what we mean by niching down is just getting to sub niches, which are more defined, more specific niches. So an example of that could be a unicorn composition notebook. And then niching down even further, it could be a pink unicorn composition notebook. And niching down even further, it could be a pink unicorn composition notebook for middle schoolers, etc. So I have videos on keyword research niches, and I'm going to link one of these above because I don't want that to take up this entire video. So go ahead and check that out if you're unsure how to do that. So once you have your niche, now you need to do an interior. And the easiest way when you're starting is to just find a free interior. I have some in the description below on my Gumroad shop, but also BookBolt has free interiors. So all you do is go to BookBolt. I will... Google it actually so you can kind of see where you go but just google book bolt click on usually the first link that pops up and then on the top here it says resources interior wizard and these are free you do not need to have a subscription to book bolt for these this is also the same company that i use for the kdp category finder and that's for uploading your book but again that is not going to be the whole topic of this video so focus right now on the interior wizard it will pop up something just like this. You have tons of different interiors for free. So some of them are members only, but there are tons of free ones to get you started. So if you're just trying to test out KDP, then I highly recommend using this resource. So if you just want to use like a college ruled, so let's do a six by nine paperback college ruled and we're going to do bleed. So the difference between bleed and no bleed is basically bleed means that 
is going to print throughout the entire page. So past the margins is going to be printed. No bleed means that past the margins, it will not be printed. So for a notebook, you always want to have bleed unless for some reason like you don't. But normally for notebooks, you use bleed because you want the lines to go all the way to the ends of the page. So you would just do this page count. Let's do like 120. And then you can hit download and you can click on which one you want. So I wanted this to be 6 by 9 So after you downloaded that, it would be all set to be uploaded to KDP. Like you wouldn't even have to do anything else. So that is incredible. And you do want to stick out on KDP and be unique and different. But if you're just trying to learn, then I recommend starting with composition notebooks because they are relatively simple to try to learn and figure out all the different tools and everything KDP has to offer. And then once you start getting a hang of how to upload, do keywords, etc., then I recommend branching out and niching down because you'll have a better chance of selling more like customer targeted books rather than a random composition notebook. But for learning purposes, I do recommend doing composition notebooks to start as they are more simple and you can kind of just get the hang of everything before you dive deep into like a coloring book or things like that. So we already have our interior. All you have to do is download that. Moving on to the cover, you want to go to the KDP cover calculator. Again, you can Google it. I'll also have the link to this in the description below. And you just type in all of your book's dimensions here. And once you are done, so let's do white paper, black and white, paperback. For page turn direction, you're actually going to be doing the opposite that you would normally do. And I'll explain why. So this would be, normally you would do right to left, but this is going to be left to right. And then this will be six inches and then six by nine, and then 120. So when you hit calculate, it'll open up a page just like this. And the reason we do left to right is because down here you have the barcode on the left side. So when you upload your covers to KDP, you actually only upload one cover. So your one PDF has to have the back spine and the front. You do not create the front and the spine separately or the front and the back separately. No, like you only have one PDF upload. So you have to have both. And the way to properly format that is to have the barcode on the left side. So if you want the book to be opening right to left, this is how you need to do your PDF. You would put left to right. That way it would put the barcode on the left side. I feel like it should not have to be that way, but that's just how it is. So if you're looking to do KDP and use this cover calculator, then I recommend doing it like this. So now you can download the template. And when you download the template, it'll download it in usually a zip file. You'll have the PNG, PDF, and then like some other form. I'm, I'm not even sure. I forget. But this is going to be helpful for when you're creating your cover. So our interior is already done. Right now we need to design a cover. So you're going to want to go to Canva. Canva is a free platform. Okay, you can pay for it and have the pro version. However, you do not need to. You can just use the free version for now if you'd like to. And I definitely recommend doing that until you're sure that you want to do KDP. Although their pro version is pretty affordable at, I think, $12.99 a month. And they may have a 30-day free trial as well. So definitely recommend checking them out. In order to create your cover template, you want to create a design up here and then do custom size. And I already typed it all in here, but you would just take the sizes right here. So full cover with 12.52 inches, height 9.25 inches. And you would just type it in right here. Make sure this says inches. It usually is set to pixels. So make sure you change it, create new design. Once you do that, it will open up a new page just like this. You can name it whatever you want. And yeah, it'll be blank. It's not going to have this template in here. I only added that in here because I didn't want to have to upload it during the video and then blur things out because all my other uploads would show. But in order to get your template in here, when you download that zip file, you want to open up your PNG. So on my computer, I have to actually drag the PNG out of that folder onto my desktop. And then I can drag my desktop PNG or you could probably do a PDF, but that's a whole different thing. So let's just stick with the PNG for now for this video. Let's keep it simple. So I have to drag the PNG from my desktop to Canva and automatically uploads it. However, you can also go to the uploads tab and there will be an upload button and you can select it. 
But what I find for my computer, at least, I'm not sure if this is for everyone, that if I did not remove it from the zip file, it will not upload it. So definitely take it out of the zip file if you're having trouble. And once it's on here, you're going to right click and hit set image as background. So now this is just going to kind of give you a template of where everything is going to be. This is the barcode, so you don't want to have any important designs over it. These two lines here mark the spine. This middle is where you can put writing on the spine. And then this is the center of the book for the cover. But keep in mind that in like KDP, they do the margins here. So we have the red on the side for the margins. And when you upload your book, they do have a sort of preview template that you can look at. So that'll definitely be helpful because sometimes you may want to move things over. But this is a really good template to use so that you kind of know where you want things in your book. And I also recommend locking it so that way like it won't get affected but before you lock it i normally change the transparency and i'll just move it to something like this you know that way i can kind of see my design but also know what is going on and you can just start creating so if we just want to do something really simple let's just pick a simple background here let's do blue well the background's locked so hold on let's do blue Although we're not going to be able to see it with that. So let me just exit out of that. So we're not going to actually use that as the background. Let's do something else. Let me just type in blue. And okay, let's just take this. I would have to readjust it if I wanted to use that. But let's put that there. And I'm going to actually change this here I know this is giving me a little bit of trouble there we go position just want to put that right here let me just drag it down and let me I want to move this up so that way I can see it so I'm going to remove it from the background because it's giving me enough trouble there we go. And we're going to put this right here and then I will make it transparent. So depending on what background you do, you may have to do this instead. It was just giving me a little bit of trouble when I had it set for the background, but it depends on what book you're making and what you're trying to do. So let's move it on to the text. Let's just add text here and let's just do like composition notebook. Just keep it really simple. You're going to want to do whatever your niche is about, of course, and you're going to want to spice this up and make it better than how this is going to be looking. But I just want to make something for the video so that way you kind of get an idea on how to do this yourself. So I'm just going to move that there. Move it over a little bit so it's more centered. I want to change this color to something else. Let's change it to white. Let's change this font to this instead. Keep that there. Okay, so I'm going to add, let's just add a puppy onto the front. That is not how you spell puppy. There we go. We'll just add a cute puppy right here just to make it a little bit better. And let's delete this image of the background here just because I want to kind of see what it looks like and go from there so I'm going to delete that so this is what the notebook looks like so obviously it is not very well done but that's because I am rushing but this is how you can create your own so I'm just going to do the spine right now and I'm going to position this in the center to the middle I'm going to change it to white and you don't have to do the actual spine size you can make it a little bit bigger if you want to a little bit smaller so this is kind of a very very basic composition notebook this probably would not sell but i just want to give you an example of how you can actually create your cover and how to use the template that we have so this is just a simple quick tutorial and then when you're done with your cover and you're satisfied with it and you think it looks great, and again, you don't need to have anything for the barcode unless you're having your own, but Amazon will add it in. You just want to make sure you're not going to cover it up. So you would just go to share, download, 
and then go to file type PDF standard. You can do PDF print and there is like a lot of debates on this, but honestly, I've seen no difference between doing PDF standard or PDF print. And then sometimes you do have to flatten the PDF, but again, I've not really seen a difference. This is all like relative and everybody has a different opinion on it. So you would just hit download and then you would have your cover. So now if you're looking to actually upload your book, you would go and hit create here. And then after you hit create, you would either do a paperback version or a hardcover. Or if, if you're doing an ebook, then you're not going to be using Canva, but either paperback or hardcover, whichever you created. And I actually have a video here on how to upload and fill in all of the boxes on your book. So definitely check that out if you're at that step and you're not sure what to do. And after you do that, then it'll take a few days and your book will be published. And then if you want to run ads, you can run ads. If you want to do A plus content, you can do A plus content. But those are not necessary. Okay, don't feel overwhelmed if you're just starting out. You don't need to do ads right away. You don't need to do A plus content. You can still make money without those. And just take it one step at a time. KDP can be an incredible business and it can really be a great source of income. So I really am excited that you're looking to start KDP and I hope that you're very successful with it. But just to throw some honesty out there before you like devote all of this time to KDP, this is not a get rich quick thing. Yes, there are some people who end up getting rich or have a lot of money with KDP very soon, but for the majority of people, this is a marathon, not a sprint. This is going to take time. This is going to take a lot of effort. You're going to be watching tons of YouTube videos. You might be taking courses. You might be doing paid courses. You might have to buy tools. You might have to run ads. You're going to be learning how to be a better graphic designer, how to write descriptions better, how to do better niche research, keyword research. This is not an easy business. This is easy to get started, easy to create simple composition notebooks. It is not easy to create this into a full-time income. And that is my own opinion. So you can take it however you want to, but I'm trying to be honest here. I don't want you to, to devote all this time and effort if you're just trying to create a few books then make a few sales. Most likely your first books are not going to sell because you're just going to be learning. I have over a hundred books that probably have never sold because they were the ones I created when I first started. Okay, this business takes time, but it can be so, so rewarding. So I highly recommend giving it a go if you're even just a little bit passionate or curious about it. So I hope this video was helpful. Please check out the other videos that I linked if you want more detail on how to do certain steps of this process. And I look forward to your KDP journey. So thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope that you have a great day.